My wife passed away from cancer about a little over a year ago. This was when we lived in Tampa. And uh, I had taken care of her, taken her to the hospital for approximately two and a half years during her illness and chemo and, and uh, radiation, all kinds of tests and so forth. So we were there two or three days a week. And uh, I got to know, to, to see what patients are going through and what they need and uh, how you could help them and so forth. And um, so after she passed away, I decided that's what I wanted to do. And when I moved here, I asked to volunteer, and they, I, but specifically, I only wanted to volunteer if I could be over here um, and uh, help the people and the patients. And they were kind enough to let me do it, and uh, here I am. Patients, when, first, especially when they're first diagnosed, they're, they come here, they're scared, they don't know what to do, and anything we can do to help them understand and make it easier and, you know, show them how to, what they're going to be going through and so forth is what, uh, you know. Even more than that, it helps the, the, the volunteer, okay? I mean, it's, it's giving, you know, giving back something that, uh, that uh, you can't get anywhere else, you know, by helping others. I know a lot of people that have always said, well, I'd, I'd really like to volunteer, I really like, and they just don't do it. And um, uh, I would encourage them to, if they're thinking about it all, and have the time uh, to just try it. You know, you don't, if, you don't, if it's not for you, you'll know it, you know. But I think, you get, I think anybody who will try it will, uh, will really like it. So her death wasn't in vain. I could help other patients through her, you know, what I've learned through her, you know. And uh, therefore, it's, uh, it's an honor for me to do that for you, an honor of her memory, yeah.